Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel First and foremost I'd like to start this lesson By giving all praises, honour and glory To the heavenly father and his only begotten son Yahawah, Bahashem, Yahawah Shai, Bahashem, Recha Kodash Double honours to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone Who rule well and taught me this 100% truth Double salutations to the 144,000 Teaching this word in truth and sincerity Shalom to the one third The great multitude Men, women and children Who believe in this truth I'm back at you with another lesson Entitled Total Control Because that's exactly Where the, the, you know, the direction In which this world is heading You know Esau, Edom Wants to establish This totalitarian Society you know, this uh, uh, technocracy in which he, he, he's ruling over the people by way of this technology, you know, which is why they're pushing forth for certain uh, agendas like, you know, uh, the, the, the end of the combustion engine, you know, they, they now want to make all the cars electric because, you know, What's one thing that you can do with an electric car, man? That can be, that can be controlled. You know, if you uh, step out of line, or maybe your, your your social credit score isn't high enough, then um, you know, then they can just shut off your 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 car. You no longer have access to it. You know, you got the the, the smart meters in the homes, so you know, you won't have access to to certain, if not all, appliances. If you uh, step out of line Okay So uh, Esau basically um, He wants to be a god man You know He, he wants to, to To take the position of the most high You know Decide your fate Whether you live or die Decide what animals uh, 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 um, You know Deserve to stay And what animals should be extinct Alright Esau eat them he wants to pull all the strings, man. You know, because he believes that he is God. All right, but you know, he's uh, uh he's gonna be profoundly disappointed. You know, and even uh, what's that scripture, man? Devices of the crafty. Might as well start there. That's it, man. This is Job chapter five and twelve. And it says uh, He disappointed the, the devices of the crafty So that their hands cannot perform their enterprise Yeah So Esau has spent all this time Money and energy Invested into Implementing this MOTB You know Making it a worldwide thing He's done many trial runs Like he had the C19 thing In 2020 In which he's Still, you know, trying to push forth now You know, because they want to basically Bring in this totalitarian system In the name of health You know, so The simple-minded will think, you know Well, Esau, Edom, he's uh, he's looking out for me You know, I'm going to get the MOTB Because, you know, I'm trying to prevent the spread Of certain diseases and yada, yada, yada You know, but it's all lies, man you know, Job 13 and 4 says how um, ye are all forgers of lies, ye are physicians of no value. All right, and that's Esau Edom, man. He is a physician of no value, man. You know, they give you these medicines and they, they, they act like it's to help you, but really it's to kill you, man. Even like the, the things that we wash our clothes with, you know, the detergents and whatnot, you know, they, they, they have an effect on your skin, man. You know, many a times, you know, after a long day of just wearing the same clothes from morning till evening, I take them off and I, I'm, you know, I have to itch my, 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 my skin, you know, because Esau, he, uh, you know, they're selling you products and they're advertising it like it's to help you, but really and truly it's to destroy you. All right. And, uh. What's his name? John D. Rockefeller. Okay. He came out and he said it, man. 
all right you can find it uh, uh, uh online you know where he basically talks on how they're gonna act like they're helping you but really they're, they're destroying you man and then when you run to them for help again you know they're, they're acting like that like, like they're doing things that work in your favor but really is working against you man but that's how you know that the so-called white man known in the scriptures as Esau Edom is the is, is is the devil that the Bible speaks of man okay so Job 5 and 12 again he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their enterprise so so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise man okay he says uh he taketh the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong all right so the lord has these demons working with esau edom who are you know pretty much pushing the idea that esau edom is going to succeed in in his mission to to bring forth this totalitarian system when really esau edom he's pretty much in a trick bag you know the most high setting him up for failure man and he's going to discover that you know a little bit too late you know what let's go to to job 20 real quick it's the book of job chapter 20 and verse 22 and it reads in the fullness of his sufficiency he shall be in straits all right straits meaning what a position of difficulty esau edom is going to be faced with various different positions of difficulty as he pushes forth with his agenda okay because what he's going to find as well is there's going to be a great resistance when this MOTB is made mandatory because in the book of Daniel 12 it speaks on how knowledge shall be increased and that knowledge has been increased man you know you got you know your average Joe they're tuned in man they know what the MOTB is they know that it's written within the Bible they know the judgment they'll receive if they do get it now I mean it's easy easier said than done you know majority are gonna of course well those in, in the know majority are gonna say that they ain't gonna take the MOTB but then they may be faced with certain trials in which they're like hey look man shit you know what man I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go ahead and take it man you know Lord willing that don't be us man you know the elect are not gonna take the MOTB under any circumstance man so if we be of the elect then we most certainly ain't gonna take it man but but you know that's why um we have to pray psalms 51 man that the lord don't take his holy spirit away from us man because pretty much if we don't have the holy spirit working with us in that time then you know we ain't really gonna have a, a, a reason not to take it man you know because then how you're gonna buy or sell how you're gonna eat and, and so on and so forth man so we just gotta pray that that the Rakha Kodash be working with us in that time, man. Okay. It says uh, in verse 23, when he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating, man. So just when Esau, Edom thought all is said and done and he succeeded in his mission to bring forth this totalitarian global uh, technocracy, technocratical system, that's that's when the Most High is going to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to come and destroy his wicked enterprise, man. As we read in the book of Job 5, he disappointed the devices of the crafty, man. Okay, because this devil is crafty. And every day, he shows you his craftiness, man. You know, this devil can't sleep without him working wickedness, man. You know, they dream about working wickedness and then they wake up and fulfill it, man. You know, so let's get uh, let's get the uh, book of Isaiah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter ten, starting at verse one, and it reads, "Woe unto them!" Which "woe" means destruction. Okay, so woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, and who is the one that decrees unrighteous decrees? Esau Edom, man, wasn't it Esau Edom, the so-called white man? that said during the time of the c19er 
in, in, in 2020 that, you know, you, you got a social distance, you got to stay, uh, what's it, two metres apart, okay, you know, uh, uh, which equates to what, six feet, you know, that, that vibration of six was being pushed heavy, man, so you had to stay six feet apart from people, you couldn't go to, to family members' houses, you know, you couldn't visit your grandma, your dying grandma, your dying grandfather, whoever, man. All right, that was unrighteous, man. You had to walk around with a with a face condom, you know. All in the name of health, man. When you know you had to take a, 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 a what do they call it, man? That that test, man, where you had to put that thing in your nose, you know. Which I ain't never done that shit, man. All praise it to you, how about Shimmy Ashaya, man? I'm, there was one point at work where they was trying to push that, like you know, you have to take this test, you know, and and then if you don't, then this, that, and the other. And and a hey, man, at that time I was I was I was quite weak, man. But there was another Jake that I was working with, and he took a bold stance of saying no. And and you see, that's why, hey man. You see, we feed off brothers' energy, man. I mean, that that particular Jake, he ain't in the truth. But in that particular moment, I fed off his energy of of him not wanting to take the the the, um, the, the, the you know the swab testing, you know. And I took the stance as well because because he was doing it also, man. So you see, that's that's why, hey man, Hebrews thirteen and one, let brotherly love continue, man. That that. You know, because really and truly in this truth, all we have is is, is, is the Archeum, man. You know, those those that are like-minded in the faith and know what time it is. Okay, so, um, uh, did I finish? Let me just read verse one again. I don't know if I read half of it or the, or the whole thing. So I'll just read it again from the top. Uh, Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. And that right grievousness which and that right grievousness which they have prescribed to turn aside the needy from judgment and who's the needy the needy are the israelites man and to take away the right from the poor of my people which again are the israelites that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless man so so this is what they're doing to our people man you know they they are uh, uh what's that psalms 83 thou art confederate against thee man all these nations beginning with, with the nation of Edom have congregated together and are working to actively destroy the people of the Most High, man, which would be the Israelites that the Bible speaks of, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which make up the 12 tribes, man. You know, this is what they're doing, man. They're working, they're working wickedness, man, so that they can further enslave us and, 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 um, and you know, eventually do away with us, okay? verse 3 it reads and what will you do in the day of visitation and in the desolation which shall come from far to whom will you flee for help and where will you leave your glory all right because when when the time of judgment comes for esau edom who is he gonna run to you man he ain't gonna call on the name of the heavenly father and his only begotten son all right because what does it say in the scriptures man it says how the name of the Lord is dreadful to the heathen, man. So, 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 who is who is a uh, Esau Edom gonna call on during that time of trouble, man? Because you see, um, what was I gonna say? It's like you. Um, yeah, man. Those those demons that deceived Esau Edom into performing his wicked enterprise, they ain't gonna be working with him anymore, man. You know, Esau Edom is going to feel alone in that time Because those demons are going to leave him Because their work is going to be done They've brought him forth to, to, you know, receive his judgment So he's going to try and call upon those demons And, and, and he's going to receive no answer, man And he's going to know that, that, that he done fucked up You know, and his time of judgment is here But, you know, it says in Psalms 49 How, what, their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, man. The so-called white man believes that this kingdom, it, it, you know, with him being in rulership, is going to be forever. And which, you know, I'll be honest with you, as a child, before, way before I came into the truth, man, I thought, I thought this is just how life was meant to be. The so-called white man was meant to be ruling over us, 
you go to the church, you know, you have Cesare Borgia, whatever the hell you want to call him, man. You know, the depiction of Jesus Christ. You know, that's a white man as well. So you just grow up thinking that, bro, yeah, this is how life is meant to be. But no, man. You know, uh, what does it say in First Maccabees 3 and 48, man? He opened the, the book of the law and painted the, 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 uh, uh, the, the, the images. In, oh, damn. <laughs> I'm butchering it. Let me just um, let me just bring out the preset, man. First Maccabees three and forty-eight, and it reads, "And laid open the book of the law, which is the holy Bible, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. So they painted, you know, uh, uh, all the images that were, you know, because uh, the, the Israelites are people of color, man." So what they done is something called iconoclasm and they pretty much whitewashed the images man okay which is why you have people in the christian church believing in the image of cesare borgia aka jesus christ and believe that that their lord and savior is a so-called white man yet when you walk around your reality is that the so-called white man is consistently working against you consistently uh, uh um um thinking how to, to to throw you into a pit man but this is the same devil that you simple-minded jakes trust in man what's that let's get to rock 12 and 10 it says never trust thine enemy for like as iron rusteth so is his wickedness so eventually man no matter how much this devil appears to be trying to help you man never trust him man because eventually his 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 true self his wicked self is gonna come forth man okay so it reads uh in verse 11 though he humble himself and go crouching yet take good heed and beware of him all right so don't fall for it man just because you know psalm 55 talks about how his his words are smooth like butter but war was in his heart man so just just because he speaks in that you know he's well spoken so-called well spoken and he, you know, he speaks in a soft tone So you think, yeah, you can trust this guy, man But really, he, he he's figuring out a way to throw you into a pit Okay, it says uh, Though he humble himself and go crouching Yet take good heed and beware of him And thou shalt be unto him As if thou had wiped a looking glass And thou shalt know that his rust have not altogether been wiped away So you're going to eventually come to the realisation that 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 um you know this is the devil that the bible speaks of man the same man that you thought was helping you you know the so-called demic came about and he came through with, with with the jump shots the three point shots all right the triple combo okay and you thought he was trying to help you well really you're gonna come to the realization that he was trying to slay you man all right he was trying to slay you okay and and you trusted in him man that's why the book of jeremiah 17 and 5 says curse be the man that trusteth in man if you trust in man you are always gonna you are always gonna get the short end of the stick especially if you're trusting in the so-called white man all right he's gonna lead you to what death and destruction man the devil comes to what steal kill and destroy so why the hell are you going to get a different outcome by trusting in him? All right, that's that's madness. Okay. Let's go to Revelation 12. This is the book of Revelation 12 and verse 12. And it reads, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down upon you having great wrath. Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time And that's why you're seeing this totalitarian system Being set up uh, uh, Right underneath your nose uh, uh, Quite briskly as well Because this devil knows That he hath a short time man You know he can see uh, the, the, the prophecies coming to pass He sees uh, uh, You know the, the Israelites The prophets out on the highways and the byways You know doing these sit downs he sees the chariot sightings increasing even your um 
your average Joe. They're seeing these chariots as well. So this devil knows that his time is up, man, which is why he's coming down with great wrath. You know, enforcing all these different draconian measures. You know, here in the UK, you, now uh, uh, certain roads, man, that when I was a kid, my father, you could take that road now. Uh, 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 you know, and, and in some of my adulthood as well, I could I could use that road too. Now it's like you make that turn, you turn left into that road, and then you're getting charged for doing so. But but then the, 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 the you know the question is, but but what is the reason, man? There's literally no reason why I can't use that road. You're just being, you know, the devil that you are, you know, trying to squeeze every uh, penny out of people because, you know, the cost of living has gone up. All right. Because, you know, let's talk about the reason why. Because the, 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 uh, the, the you know, the, the paper notes are losing its value. It's being devalued every day, which is why prices seem to be going up but it's no really what's going on is that your money is losing value all right but people can't seem to figure it out you know and then on top of that there's so many other ways there's so many more ways in which you can lose that money man as, as i said you make that wrong turn a couple days later you're getting that letter come through the door you know um uh, 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 at one point if you was caught out you know, be, if, if you was caught in a, you know, a, a, a outside of your household, you was in someone else's household, you could hold a fine for that. If your business was still open during the, the quarantine and the lockdown, you'd hold a fine for that. And like just various different ways, man. You know, this devil is coming down with great wrath. You know, you couldn't leave the country unless you took the, 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 the jump shots, you know. It said in 2nd Edge 15 that a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, man. We saw that on a small scale. We're about to see that on a large scale when they uh, introduced these uh, 15 minute cities, these checkpoints and, you know, uh, this, this system goes completely digital. Then you're, you're, you're going to see that in full effect, man. Okay, because, you know, with all the things that's going on, we ain't seen nothing yet, but this devil is most certainly moving in in, in the direction of of, of, of of total control, man. All right, and, and and you know you'd be a fool to 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 deny that, man. To not be able to see that, you'd be a fool. All right, so let's get um second Ezra fourteen. And let's start at verse 14 and it reads Let go from thee mortal thoughts Cast away the burdens of man Put off now the weak nature Yeah, now is the time to, to double down in the spirit man. Now is not the time to, to be in that weak spirit that, that I can't spirit That, you know, lack of prayer And lack of faith No man, now we need to double down in the spirit man. Baruch 4 says Seeing as we have gone astray from him See so him ten times more, not 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 ten times less, ten times more, man. Okay. Fifteen and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to flee from these times. So so our sole focus should be, you know, uh, staying locked into the scriptures, man. All right. Sixteen, for yet greater evils. All right, greater evils, right? It says, uh. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. So yeah, you're thinking that, oh yeah, things are bad now and, you know, how, how could it get any worse, you know? A nigga want to know, how could it get any worse? Well, you see, the Lord is going to show you how it's going to get worse, man. This devil, you know, he's coming down with great wrath, knowing that he has but a short time, man. So it's, it's about to get... um. It's about to get real bad out here, man. Okay? You ain't seen nothing yet. This look man, Esau Edom is 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 a madman on the loose, speaking as a dragon, man. Coming with all these draconian measures. Okay? And you ain't seen nothing yet, man. You think it's bad now. You ain't seen nothing yet, man. This is this this the so-called white man 
is truly the devil that the Bible speaks of. And as we uh, as we proceed forward in the, the the downfall of his wicked empire, we are you know that's that's going to be made very apparent, man. That's going to be made undeniably apparent who the devil is. All right. So let me bring out my final precept, and I'm gonna close up. This is Revelation 13. Let's start at verse 11 And it reads And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth And he had two horns like a lamb And he spake as a dragon Yeah, because the, 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 the beast system What is it? It's the, the ancient Roman Empire revived Which we have now, man We're in it now This is the, the, that beast system, man And he spake as a dragon Yeah Coming down with the draconian measures The unrighteous decrees you know, just 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 uh, uh, um, um, total control, man. Okay, verse twelve it says, and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth. Because remember, it's the Roman Empire revived, right? So that would be the first beast, the ancient Roman Empire. All the power of the the first beast before him, and causeth the earth, and them which dwell. Therein to worship the first beast Whose deadly wound was healed Because as I said man This is the ancient Roman Empire revived So that's that deadly wound that's been, that's been healed man Okay It says and he doeth great wonders So that he maketh fire to come down from heaven On the earth in the sight of men And you know one of the ways he did that was You know during World War 2 You know the atomic bomb Which they dropped on uh, Was it 1942 or what was it uh, uh, Hiroshima Nagasaki If I'm not mistaken Okay They caused fire to come down from heaven man Because that, that had never been done before Alright And that, that that Put fear in these other nations to, uh, Towards these Edomites They're like Hey hey man You, you don't want to fuck with them Edomites man You know They might just drop a bomb on your ass And, and dest destroy your your, 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 your your city man or Destroy your nation You know so it says, um, damn, it says, um, 14, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live. So, you know, ultimately he wants to come through with this uh, um, 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 You know With this MOTB man And if you don't subscribe to the To, to you know Getting the C-hip inserted underneath your skin Then then you know As it says in the next verse You're going to be killed man So 15 And he had power To give life unto the image of the beast That the image of the beef Of the beef Of the beast Should both speak And cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed and because you know you're gonna have um you're gonna have the prophets man you're gonna have you know the elect of the nation of israel who have heard this word and, sub and have subscribed onto it they're not gonna subscribe to the image of the beast so therefore you know like that's why you know the elder apostles of great millstone always made mention that you know we have to be ready to 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 you know Potentially lose our lives for this truth, man, because we know that some of us uh, may have to be martyrs for this truth and may have to give up our lives, but that's okay, man. It says, How the dead in Yahweh Shai shall be raised up first. So that is our hope, man. Okay, but but this is the, the time that we're heading into, man. A system of total control where the so called white man, you know, he, he has his. his uh, uh, um, you know Draconian measures Put forth And you have to subscribe onto it man And this is why We're praying for the return of our Lord and Saviour Yahweh Shai Because we understand That this is not our rest And you know We nor, nor can we save ourselves man You know if Yahweh Shai don't come and save us Then we're through You know we, we ain't gonna make it man so yeah man I just wanted to touch on that In this uh, little lesson I'm doing On my way to uh, the plantation field 
All right, so I pray, Lord willing, it's been edifying. And until the next time, I say, Shalom.